The Oscars 2022 has come to a close. I'm just going to do a short enough video, kind of recapping everything that happened and taking a look back at some of my predictions and how f awful I did. So, yeah, um, if you want to like the video, that would be great. If you could subscribe, if you aren't already, that would also be great. We are trying to hit 700 by kind of soon, I guess. I don't really have a, a set date just yet, but, you know, by the end of the month is probably not likely i don't know halfway through ne in the next month maybe by the end of april that would be a pretty great time to hit 700 subscribers and yeah comment how many of these you think deserve to win how many of them you predicted right and what you thought of uh the oscars dune kind of swept the awards that i thought it and power the dog would sweep power the dog only took home one oscar whereas dune took home six uh, Power of the Dog winning uh, Best Director, that was Jane Campion, which is one of the very, very few predictions I got right. Jane Campion very much deserved to win Best Director. As for Best Actress, that was Jessica Chastain in the Eyes of Tammy Faye, a movie I haven't seen, but a lot of people have told me she is a very worthy winner, so I will give that a watch. And as far as the other big Oscars go. Coda did far uh, better than I thought. I'm going to have to give that a watch because obviously it won Best Picture. It also won Best Actor in a Supporting Role. And then it won Best Adapted Screenplay. Also, uh, the winner of Best Supporting Actor was Troy Kotzer. Uh, I had never heard of him, obviously, pre-Coda. He is a deaf actor. I think he's the second deaf actor to win an Oscar. And his speech was great, you know. I really appreciated that they announced the winner in sign first and then said that he had won it so that, you know, he was the first one to know he won it. That was really nice. And then he obviously did his speech in sign language. Uh, obviously, there was a, an interpreter there. That was a really nice moment. As far as Best Supporting Actress, that one went to West Side Story. Ariana DeBose won. And, you know, Angie New Ellis didn't. I, I really liked Angie New Ellis. I don't know how many times I said that at this point. I thought she was great. However, I've just not seen West Side Story. That's one of the, the movies I haven't seen that was quite big at the Oscars this year. Now, let's talk about the, uh, the obvious thing. How nice it was that Lady Gaga and Liza Minnelli presented Best Picture. That was a very touching moment. Yeah, that I got you, that, that uh, Lady Gaga said to... Liza Minnelli was very nice. It was it was a, a really nice, touching moment. We had uh, performances from Beyonce and Billie Eilish, who actually won the Oscar for Best Original Song. Cruella won an Oscar. I told you it would win Best Costume Design, although don't listen to me for basically any other predictions, because I got them all wrong. Best Original Screenplay went to Belfast, and... You know, that was, that was nice for Kenneth Branagh to win that. I think it's like the first time he's won an Oscar, but he's nominated for like eight. So, yeah, I think that was that was, that was was nice for Kenneth Branagh, I feel. I kind of just skipped any of the other performances or the hosts because, you know, I wasn't really there for that. I was there for the, uh, the movie stuff. It was a nice tribute to 60 Years of James Bond. There was a nice tribute to 50 years of the godfather trilogy and you know anthony hopkins got to perform what perform anthony hopkins did not perform he got to present an oscar which was a, a lovely moment because he obviously got a huge standing ovation when he came on stage did anything else happen at the oscars this year ah yes the hair joke yes that host making a joke about lebron james's cgi hairline no obviously Will Smith and Chris Rock. Um, I don't really care what side anyone's on in this. I just thought it was entertaining. Sure, you have the one argument that Chris Rock overstepped the line. And, you know, it's not a thing to be making jokes about. And that, you know, he, he shouldn't have made the joke. And then there's the other thing that, you know, Will Smith came on stage and in an act of violence, hit a guy, even though he said it was out of love, which, you know, his speech after when Will Smith then won Best Actor was, oh, it was awkward, wasn't it? Yes, so, 
Chris Rock makes a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith looking like G.I. Jane because of her alopecia. And Will Smith got on stage, hit Chris Rock across the face, got back off stage, and then twice shouted at him, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. It was entertaining. Yeah, I... Honestly, you can debate in the comments who was right. I think everyone looks like a bit of an idiot here. And it was the most entertaining moment of the night. So, yeah. Right, I guess rightfully it is what everyone's going to be talking about because it's definitely the the biggest thing to happen at the Oscars. Other than, I suppose, Coda being a big breakthrough movie for the deaf community and winning Best Picture. Gosh. Yeah, no, no one's going to be talking about that, unfortunately. It's literally all going to be about Chris Rock and Will Smith's beef. Um, and yeah, you know, say what you want that, you know, Will should have settled that after the event if he didn't think it was funny, despite he was uh, laughing at the joke at first. Um, but hey, I'm glad he didn't because it was very entertaining. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll do it. As I said, it's only a short video. My What I Watched in March will be coming soon this week uh yeah that's about it people <laughs> um thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you can and you know like the video comment all those things i said at the start that i now also say at the end uh feel free to follow me on letterboxd where you can kind of get a sneak preview of my opinions on movies before my what i watched in insert name of month here series comes out uh yeah thank you very much for watching everybody see you later on this week goodbye